The Sirens Women's Motorcycle Club was founded in 1986. How many years has the club loved the dream? Since its founding in 1986. And you haven't missed one? Not a one. We welcome any motorcyclist club group to ride. Uh, Empire City, the boys have been riding uh, just as long and uh, our sister clubs out of Boston. Uh, we line up on 25th and 6th Avenue. And approximately how long does it take to actually ride in? In the past, it's taken about an hour and a half. This year is a new route, so I'm thinking it's taking longer, about two hours this year. Cheryl, who I wanted to come, is a founding member. Oh, she's the only founding member that still, still rides. How many years have you been riding in the market? This will actually make my second year. The first time I rode was in 2017. Unfortunately, and fortunately, the same time, I'll say, I missed it last year because I'm in the military. Actually, I just re retired okay, after 20 and a half years of service. But I was deployed to Djibouti, Africa. So I missed the parade. However, I got to see all the pictures and you know, I watched some of the videos that people sent me. So this is gonna be my second year and I'm really, really excited to ride in it. People along the parade route cheering you on and then just the, considering the fact that I'm in the military and there was a time when I couldn't be out and now I can be out. I can share who I am with my comrades and I don't have to you know, hide and be worried about it. Just being out and proud with all the people that come from all over the world this year, it's, it's, it means a lot to me actually. It means a lot and I'm really looking forward to it. How many years have you been riding in the march? 13 years now. Wow, that's a lot. And what does it mean to you, this being our special World Pride? It's uh, entirely appropriate that World Pride be here this year at the Stonewall. It's the 50th anniversary of the rebellion, I think is the right word to use, that uh, really kicked off the uh, gay and lesbian rights yes. movement in the United States. What is it like to lead the march? Oh man, it's amazing. <laughs> We're the I first thing that people see when the march steps off. So everybody who's been lining up on the streets in anticipation of pride, they see the sirens first. And the, they see the energy is just amazing, especially when we get right here. When we get down in front of the stone wall, the streets down here are really narrow. The sound is deafening from the crowds, the cheering. You can hardly hear the horns on our bikes anymore because it's so loud. We feel so powerful there with each other, connecting with mm -hmm. people and making eye contact with the, with the people on the sidelines. It, it chokes me up. It's, yeah. It's intense. It really is intense. Once I connected with the Sirens and I became a member and, and riding in that parade and being up front, I mean, I can't even think of a word to describe it because it just it's just such an emotional feeling. And when we come to this area, it's like people yelling and screaming. Happy World Pride! Happy World Pride.